Well, it's important for decision making and it's important in practically all of these entities that I'm listing here. In pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary embolism, if we have congenital defects, assist devices, in the timing of surgery, tricuspid regurgitation, response to treatment. In all of these disease entities, it's important to know what right ventricle function is. And obviously, it's also clear that if a patient has an impaired right ventricle function, their prognosis is poor. And that has been shown for so many different disease entities. Again, for COPD, pulmonary embolism, pulmonary arterial hypertension, congenital heart disease, dilated cardiomyopathy, and also in patients who had a right ventricular infarct or even in patients who had a left ventricular infarct with right ventricle deterioration over time. So yes, it's very, very important to assess right ventricle function.